This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo, levels 1112, problem number 28. An iceberg has the shape of a cube. Exactly 90% of its volume is hidden below the surface of the water. Three edges of the cube are partially visible over the water. The visible parts of these edges are 24 meters, 25 meters, and 27 meters. How long is an edge of the cube? A, 30 meters, B, 33 meters, C, 34 meters, D, 35 meters, or E, 39 meters. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So as you can see, we've I started by including um, a picture of a cube to represent our iceberg. Again, the iceberg is submerged in water and three edges are partially visible. For our pur purposes, let's say that these are the three edges that are visible and they have lengths 24 meters, 25 meters, and 27 meters. And we wanna find the edge, the length of the edge of the cube. So the way we're gonna do this is to start with finding the volume of the cube that is visible, so above the surface of the water, which we know is 10% of the total volume of the cube. So if we find the volume that is visible, we can multiply that by 10 to find the total volume of the cube, and then take the cube root of that to find the edge of a cube, right? Because the volume of a cube is equal to its edge to the third power. So again, we're gonna start with finding the volume of the visible portion. And as we can see, the visible portion is a triangular pyramid. And the volume of a triangular pyramid can be represented as one third base times height. And I just wrote V sub P to represent the volume of the pyramid. So we notice that because this is a part of this cube, that we have right angles on all these triangular faces. So because of that, we can choose any one of them to represent the base. And we can write the volume of the pyramid as being one third times two of the side lengths divided by two times the third side length. It doesn't matter which two we choose to represent the base. In this case, I just did 24 and 25 as the side lengths of the base and then 27 as the height, but again, it does not matter because you're gonna be multiplying them all together. So let's simplify, divide by two. So the volume of the pyramid is 12, times oops, times 25 times 9. And again, the volume of the pyramid is 10% the total volume of the cube. So V sub C represents the volume of the cube, and 10% of the volume of the cube is equal to the volume of the pyramid, which again is 25, 12, sorry, times 25 times 9. So let's multiply by 10 on both sides. So we get that the volume of the cube is 10 times 12 times 25 times nine. Now let's rewrite these numbers as products of their prime factors, because again, we wanna take the cube root of this in order to find the side length of the cube. And it might be easier to do that when they're um, in their prime factor form. So we have two times five, again, that's the 10 times two squared, times three, times five squared, times three squared. And this is really nice because we find that the volume of the cube is equal to two to the third power times three to the third power times five to the third power. So they're all to the third power. So let's let the side length of the cube be represented by A. So that means that A cubed, the volume of the cube, is two cubed times three cubed times five cubed, as we just said earlier. 
So when we take the cube root of both sides, we'll get that a is equal to 2 times 3 times 5, 6 times 5, which is equal to 30. And that is answer choice A. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.